Hey guys, today I want to talk a little bit about neck posture, so and especially forward head posture. Uh, a lot of my clients come to see me and they tell me that Seattle, I cannot get my neck backwards. They are trying and trying and trying, it does not happen. Why is this? Well, uh, this is because forward head posture is often not just a slouching poor habit issue. It uh, it is often a compensation by uh, by the nervous system to maintain center of gravity, equilibrium. So uh, one of the main causes of this is that. If the pelvis comes forward, as it does in sway back posture, which is very, very common, the head and shoulders will often accommodate that by going forward, forward as well. So in, in practice, when the patient is standing, you will see that the pelvis is forward, and when the pelvis is forward, to maintain the center of gravity, the nervous system will protract the head and shoulders to get that stable foundation, okay? So to do that, if we try to correct the cervical position, we will be opposing the nervous system's compensation. And of course, we want to work together with the nervous system and not to oppose it, right? It's quite obvious. So first, we get them out of sway back posture. We get the pelvis behind the shoulders or in line with, either in line with or behind the shoulders, behind the, um, the neck and the shoulders. This will help the nervous system to agree with this correction. Okay, uh, we will be fighting the nervous system if we don't do it that way. The other thing that is very important is scapular positioning. If the patient is hanging down with their shoulders, the neck will come forward and it will uh, intake that hinging, that hinge in the lower cervical region. And of course, we know that the, the hinge, <laughs> it is not, it is not good. It's quite detrimental for cervical stability and all the mus musculature in the, in the region. So how do we correct it? Well, we tell them to gently posteriorly tilt and upward, up, upwardly rotate their scapula and slightly elevate it and stay there. And then it will be much easier to pull that chin down activate the deep neck flexors and get out of the hinge and get out of forward head posture so okay so once again from here we gently elevate we gently pull the pull the chin down first okay to get out of the hinge there get the shoulders back and up a little not behind here but a little back and up and get the pelvis behind the shoulders and if you can teach your client to maintain that position it will be much easier to maintain proper cervical uh, stability and the cervical posture and everything will feel a lot better uh, and also the rehabilitation of the muscles in the region will uh, the results will last they will not come and go all the time because if you do not address the underlying conditions such as posture of course rehabilitating the muscles which can be considered symptoms it will not last okay so hope this was informative uh, also i hope you liked my new intro track my friend Torstad made it it's really really good I love it so I hope you liked it too and have a nice day